so we're going to um, have a look at some acrylic painting techniques. First of all, you need to make sure that you have a really nice organized palette. I, you, I tend to use just cardboard that I've got left over and put them very separately. So I've got all the primary colors here and a bit of white. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is just maybe thinking about mark making and using different types of brushes. So I've got a smaller brush here, which is not really an acrylic brush. And then I've got a much flatter brush here. And this is, this is the type of brush you'd be using in school. So much, much longer brush than you're used to using. Okay, so I've got some water. I'm just going to take the red and add a little bit of water and then I'm just going to have a look at the types of marks I can make with that brush. So that's quite a long stroke. I can add a little bit of yellow to it. And if I use a very different brush, it's a much smaller brush. Oops. I get very different marks. Okay, so just try using different brushes. So a slightly wider brush. Make sure I've got enough water on there. That's a very different mark. And I use a longer brush. I'm going to use a technique called dry brushing. So you need a completely dry brush. But one way of doing this is to just get rid of all the water off your brush or just to use a nice clean brush. So I'm just going to use a bit of the yellow and a bit of the red. Okay. And it should be a... And then you get a very different sort of technique. So it's very textured. So sometimes this is really good you do a wash, a colour wash, and then dry brushing over the top and you can get a sort of very really nice effect. And you can layer this, I might use a little bit of yellow. I'm going to just sort of dry brush some yellow over the top and you can get some really nice bit of brush there. You can get a bit of texture going on there. Add a bit of, and then if you added a bit of red over the top, you'd get. So this is good if you're trying to do sort of something like rust or something like that. Dry brushing, so a lot less water on your brush. So that's called dry brushing. So I'm going to start with a light colour. So I'm going to use my, my middle brush and I'm going to use my, so you can see it's quite orangey already. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow and while it's still, so while it's still wet, you don't want it to dry. I'm just adding a little bit of red. Let's see how it can start to mix that colour. So it should be a nice gradual mix. And then you can go back to your, I always go back and add a bit more yellow onto your brush. So you kind of mix it. And if you want to make it really dark, you can add a little bit of blue into your red here. And then add a bit more red. can blend it in and add a bit more red. It's a nice blend so you keep it nice and wet and you go back and forth to the colours. Okay so the next technique is called scraffito. So we do need a bit of water. I'm going to use the blue. Dark works really well with dark colour. It's not too watery but quite fluid. Okay and then I'm going to just place it on reasonably thickly. 
There's a bit of yellow on there. Bit of a mistake. So if I do that reasonably thickly, maybe add a little bit of white into it. Okay, and what we need then is a back of a brush to just sort of scrape some bits off. this while it's wet so that's quite nice about creating texture okay. the next technique we're going to mask off some areas with masking tape and I'm going to cut the masking tape a little bit thinner might be good for again for creating pattern and texture we're doing some sort of close-up detail I'm not going to put too many because I'm going to have to peel this off when it's wet so I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to paint over the top with a thick brush so you can create lots of texture by mixing you can see by just mixing it onto there so I'm going to try and peel that off while it's still wet Ooh. if you can see each piece. So this can be an interesting, I can't remember where I put them, interesting texture. You could put a colour on before that and then just got to remember where you put those pieces. Okay so that's a kind of like a resist but it has bled a little bit so maybe using a slight so the next technique we're going to use is it's a bit like dry brushing but it's more like stippling so if you wanted to create an area with lots and lots of texture then this is really good if you kind of blend so it's a bit like the blending and the dry brushing but it's using the head of the brush and you can use less or more so I'm using a lot less over here and a little bit more over here and you could then go into it with some lighter colors again so if you've got a really interesting sort of mossy textured stone this would be fantastic You can go in with a darker colour. Excuse the drilling noise, that's my neighbour having an extension. Okay, so that's stippling. So the next technique is going to be um, using a palette knife. Um, or you might use a some tools in school we've got some plastic palette knives this this is the only thing I've got at home to show you so I've got my palette might add a little bit of the orange so you can so you get lots of various textures so if you're building up And some people do entire portraits like this. A little bit of the yellow. Just look at how different those marks are. And you can build it up quite heavily. You can add things to the... Um, you can scrape it off. And then you can add even more layers. Okay, that's a really great technique. So that's using a palette knife.
and then I'm going to show you how to use a soft edge okay so we're going to get the red so if you want a soft edge you just brush it just like this and it gives you a sort of reasonably soft edge okay if you want a nice hard edge you really need to use a lot more precision if you want a nice hard edge so just practice so you need a lot a nice hard edge there. So that's quite a soft edge. So the next technique I want to show you is just using a sponge. So we've covered quite a lot um, and you can use so many things with uh, paint. You could use a bit of the back of a card to create some pattern work. You could use all sorts of stuff. This is a bit like printing. Um, so I'm going to just go in with a bit of my yellow, whatever colours you've got left. Try not to mix them all together. And you can either dab, so you've got very, very just angle that a bit better. So it's a very soft, you can also, with your sponge, depends on how much water you've got. You can sort of streak it like that. So just have a go at creating some different marks. With your sponge, you could add a little bit of water. So you can do a nice wash with your